credit where due, Totem Runner by Yagoda Productions and Chilingo isn't just a beautiful game, it's a beautiful concept too. Despite joining the throng of auto runners already available, the primarily passive playstyle combined with tightly designed stages makes it a refreshing casual distraction. We're jumping ahead though, so let's get back to the basics. You play as a mystic with distinctly Mayan overtones, who is braving the darkness sweeping over the world. By harnessing the power of life itself, you can regrow the forests that have been destroyed, while also transforming into either a boar, a bird, or a magical dragon to dodge or plow through the traps and enemies left in your path. Learning how to play is easy enough. Tap and hold one side of the screen to summon plants from the soil, tap and hold the generously sized boar, bird, or dragon buttons, and you'll morph into them, granting you skills while removing your ability to summon plants. The boar acts as a blunt weapon, charging through enemies and obstacles alike. If you risk a boost of speed, you'll earn more points in lieu of summoning plants. The bird is an agile flyer that's controlled by tilting forward or backward. There seems to be some sensitivity issues resulting in jerky movement, but generous checkpoint placement means you'll eventually get things right. Lastly, the dragon can be summoned once 50 gems are collected. Using the transformation will fly you forward at no risk. The real challenge of Totem Runners isn't finding as many opportunities as possible to become human in order to summon plants. This is harder than it seems, as many enemies exploit the height of the Mystic Man, forcing you to have to dodge via boar or bird. Later stages even force the player to combine the transformations one after another in order to beat a complex sequence of traps. If you're not already burned out on auto runners, Totem Runner has a lot going for it in terms of visual appeal and novel gameplay to make it worth a purchase. However, with control issues and a safe passive playstyle, it's easy to let this one slide as well. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.